Hello and welcome, my name is Ajax Post and we're back here in Sim Airport for another quick tutorial. Now this feature we're looking at today, Remote Gates, is currently only available in the Edge and Experimental builds of the game. It's not yet been published to the, as it were, the general public release version of the game. So things might still change a little bit before it gets fully released. Um, but from what I've seen so far, there's not much more they will want to do to this particular feature to make it perfectly workable. So let's get right into it. What is the remote gate? The remote gate is separating the aircraft stand itself, where the aircraft parks itself up, and the actual departure lounge, the gate area for passengers to arrive and depart. So what we're going to have is a departure lounge area, which I've got this little section here. This this gate isn't connected to that. Uh, so we've got this little area here where passengers will arrive and be checked for boarding but the actual aircraft will be parked somewhere away from the terminal building over here for example. So we're going to need a way of getting passengers from here to the stand and we'll see that as we go through the creation of this process. So first off let's set up our aircraft gate. Uh, the stand rather. This is where you, you've got two, there are two concepts here, the aircraft stand and the actual gate itself. So far they're one and the same thing basically. Um, and the game still actually calls the actual aircraft stand here a gate. Uh, the remote gate, aircraft gate, if I actually go into objects, yeah we've now got four, large, extra large, small and this new remote gate which currently only supports small aircraft. So you can't get your large and extra large planes landing on that. Uh, which is probably reasonably realistic, but whether it will change or not as the game develops, uh, who knows. Possibly not, but we'll see. The game is the, the, the developers of the game are very responsive to player feedback, so if lots of people want larger remote gates and they believe it makes sense in terms of the logic of the game and genuine real airports, they may well add it. Okay, so my chaps are going to start building that in a moment. Now the next part of this, as I said, is a way for the passengers to get to and from that aircraft stand. And that is achieved by adding... I just can't spell. <laughs> you see, I just can't spell. A remote bus pickup area. And that's this little beastie here, which has a place for the bus to park and a walkway for the passengers themselves. So if I place that there, okay, they've already built the, uh, the aircraft stand itself. Now, the way it works at the moment is until you actually connect it to this remote bus pickup, you can't do anything with the remote stand itself. Again, that may be something that changes or, or not as the game progresses. Okay, so we've got a remote bus pickup here, and as you can see, there's three things it needs. It must be assigned to an aircraft gate remote, which is this beast here. It requires a door to the terminal, so I need to give doors there. And it must be attached to an adjacent road, so the buses can travel between the stand and the gate. So uh, let's get the road built, shall we? Uh, let's uh, do it that way. We'll build that out here. There we go, we'll do that. And also attach this bit of road to the stand itself. So what I'll do, I think, because I like my roads to be continuous, again, your mileage may differ, I'll actually run this all the way round the stand itself. So it performs a nice, single, continuous piece of road. Now, as you know, the direction arrows here don't actually really affect the way the airport vehicles travel. They will go in whatever direction suits them. But it's, it's just nice to sort of lay it out. So this is the way that will work. OK, so this uh, aircraft... Uh, bus pickup it ha is attached now to a piece of road or will be when that gets built. We need to attach it to a remote stand. There it goes there. And as you can see now we can see things on this stand itself. What you can do to it. It requires at least one agent desk. Um, requires a door to the terminal on the ground floor. 
so obviously the bus can pick up the passengers and a valid path from the bus pickup to the stand itself which is this piece of road but taxiway will suffice generally speaking but buses do travel a lot slower on that taxiway and of course it looks a bit wrong they're in the way of the aircraft and it requires at least one functional hangar with an air apron bus so that's a new vehicle added to the system okay let me just get the rest of this built get my gate agent desk and the queues built and so on and then we'll come back to this and see it in operation okay so now i've got everything basically built we have our remote bus pickup we have our remote stand we have a road which connects them in one nice continuous long route we also have a gate agent desk queue and an appropriately filled uh, departure lounge with benches and information signs and the rest of it okay now what we don't have yet is a door to the terminal now this is one of the really nice things about the way this remote bus pickup has developed since they first introduced it into the game now I can if I wish put in a large sliding door and that will service the gate very nicely indeed or if you notice there are these two pedestrian pathways one's hidden obviously behind that exclamation mark we can actually have separate entrances for departures and arrivals so I could have for example departures coming in through this door and arrivals leaving through that door now again this is much like how I like to play the game is I like to have different channels for departures going one way and arrivals taking a slightly different route through to the gate so this way I can do that so I could actually even put in walls here to sort of further separate them out I don't need to particularly but I can do that so you can either have one big sliding door for the whole bus pickup zone or you can have two doors uh, one for arrivals and the other for departures how do you know which one is going to be used for what because it has these arrows on so as you can see here the green is saying out the red saying in that's the wrong way round for me so on the uh, remote bus pickup uh, properties box here I can simply switch the entry exit and they're switched around red coming in green going out and we might as well assign this gate actually the gate agent desk to our stand there and that should be the whole job done oh apart from no I have forgotten to purchase my apron bus so I'll add a new apron bus vehicle to the hangar and I'll also add a new baggage cart because just like any other stand this remote stand can be upgraded you can add a fuel port to it uh, there you go I'll stick mine in there and you can then connect that to your underground fuel lines as you wish just like any other stand so can I get that down there there we go and along there and likewise you can connect this stand to your baggage system so we will assign it to my baggage depot is over here so that baggage depot over there so that remote gate is now fully attached to this remote bus pickup to this gate agent desk or desks obviously you might want uh, one for first class one for coach um, there will be a fuel line put, put in shortly by my workmen and the gate is also connected to the baggage so just like any other gate on the system oh, I need to actually employ another gate agent <laughs> there we go and they will turn up in due course okay the next thing to do obviously is just schedule the flights to come in on this new gate C1 as you can see there's a small gate so I will do that now and we will return once we start getting some flights into our new gate and here we are we have a plane arriving for our new remote gate and we have both baggage and that's the apron bus waiting to pick up the arriving passengers uh, no fuel for this particular plane now from what I've seen there is no limit on the number of passengers you can fit in an apron bus notice there the arriving passengers came in through that door and went out that way quite separate to our departing passengers there that went to the air crew and they go through this second door here 
So that works very nicely indeed. Yeah, so there appears to be no limit on the number of passengers you can put into an apron bus. Uh, so you only need one, I think, for each remote stand. And at the moment, at least, I don't know again if this will change uh, as the game develops. Uh, a bus pickup, a gate here, can only service one aircraft remote stand. Uh, which is possibly a little bit um, different to what might happen in real life, but that's, it is a game after all, it isn't real life. And there's our plane departing, and that's it, so that is the remote gate in operation. You have the aircraft stand here, which needs to be attached to, to a taxiway as per normal. It needs a remote bus pickup for the apron bus, which you buy and add to a hangar. And that remote bus pickup should be attached to the terminal building and have doorways, either one or two, and obviously a gate agent desk to manage the departing passengers. If you have two doors for the bus pickup, you can actually have separate in and out doors on there, and you can switch those around as suits your layout. And just like any other uh, stand or gate, this one can be upgraded to include a fuel port and can be assigned to a baggage system as well. So that's it. Remote stands in Sim Airport currently on the edge and experimental builds and I expect it to be soon delivered to the main general release build of the game. So that's it. If you found this useful I would very much appreciate a thumbs up, uh, a like, which would help other people find this video as well. If there's anything I've missed out, or if there's any questions you have to ask about the operation of remote stands, then please do drop a note into the comments box below. Be very much appreciated. Be great to hear from you. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please do that. And then you'll hear when I upload any more Sim Airport videos or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post here with Sim Airport, looking at remote stands remote gates even. I'll see you again soon. Until then though, bye bye for now. <laughs>